what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so it looks like we will be having some new information coming out about screen 5 shortly judging from the behind the scenes images that have come out from the official project x entertainment uh instagram page from yesterday nearly a day ago a day ago after this recording uh some new images showing matt and benelli open tyler gillette and chad Villela and also Guy Busick and James Vanderbilt on set of some location that is related to screen five and they have a green screen in the background it's these images you see coming across the screen looks like these of course are going to be some interviews that are getting conducted with the directors alongside the pair of writers involved Guy Busick and James Vanderbilt to hear their thoughts and their excitement I guess and their mentality going into screen five since this is definitely something that everyone involved is excited about no, the two people i know are the most excited in my honest opinion have to be the two directors coming off of ready or not getting to jump into a well-known well-established ip like scream getting to carry a mantle that most people prior to hearing who would be directing scream didn't really want this franchise to be brought back up again if it wasn't going to be Wes craven at the helm but everyone's open to giving these two a chance so i know they're they're well aware of what they're stepping into and i i can't wait to see what they have cooked up for us and my guess is that this stuff will be of course leading into the summertime throughout the fall we won't get everything because i again this is just like reassuring my speculation that we'll get a teaser trailer attached to a quiet place when it comes out later this month in theaters but we could also get is a we could also just get a behind the scenes featurette with the quiet place too when it releases in theaters later this later this month because honestly what they're doing is they're working on their electronic press kit that's just basically going to be a comp a uh a big file comprised of behind the scenes images and featurettes and interviews with the director like what it looks like is going on here interviews with the writers all this stuff that will be used for uh press releases that are sent out to the people that are involved with the media and the press and have access to those type of databases to go in and look at them when they'll be released to the public but they'll be they'll be also stored in these other little sites that people that aren't in the press don't have access to the electronic press kit is definitely what they're working on so i can't wait to see what happens with these interviews can't wait to see what they all have to say when they come out i know we're all looking forward to screen five uh this is like the only little bit of news we've gotten recently we are the news is that we can expect new interviews that's literally what the news is <laughs> we can expect new behind the scenes stuff to come out soon of course uh hopefully this means that a teaser like i said before will be attached to a quiet place too when that releases in theaters later this month i cannot wait to see how this film plays out i know that again the two directors involved they have to be on cloud nine about this whole thing they have to be on cloud nine i do want to also shout out hello sydney hello sydney did uh do and do a little article about this i'll leave a link to that article down in the description because the next thing i want to talk about is there's been some buzz according to this article about press screenings that have been going on not press screenings i mean like test screenings i test screenings yeah test screenings going on across the u.s in places such as texas even so no word on how true that is but i i can say that i heard a little bit about this uh apparently the response to it this is coming from people off of reddit apparently the response to it has been mostly positive uh from what this individual is saying a mostly positive response from whatever they've seen uh there seems to have been a very positive or shocking reaction to a moment in the film that that's relating to uh something to do with one of the killers but those are all the details i'll just disclose there those that's that's really all i want to go into they didn't say much on what they when they were sharing this so yeah there's been some test screenings apparently going on with the film so that tells me that they are confident in what they have to put out here uh, they probably have an idea of what what direction they're going to go what stuff they're going to keep in everything regarding the production is coming to a close as far as like the final stages and putting in the mixing for the music all of the stuff that goes into the final stages of production before they are ready to put out that teaser which i'm again speculating will be attached to a quiet place too when that comes out this month uh i think it'll just be a short 
one minute 20 second video maybe even shorter than that maybe 50 seconds long just showing us and getting us hyped for what's to come not maybe not even showing us too too much new footage it could be like a reminiscent to what the scream three teasers did like setting us up knowing the rules of a trilogy and using like image images and clips and footage from the first two films they could do something similar with the teaser for screen five just show videos and clips of the past entries that we've gotten and then at the very end for the last 10 15 seconds we so we see some new footage that'll get us all hyped and amped up for the full official trailer that of course will not come out until closer to the end of the year maybe in october sometime to get everyone hyped for january that's just what i'm thinking about when i think what we could get in the teaser if it's something that happens attached to a quiet place too or just in general could go the other way of course they could have something that's overly long and, and shows us more than probably what most of you will want to see myself included uh if they go out and put a put out a full-fledged trailer like that i don't think they should put anything else out depending on what they put in this teaser or what what they decide to do in the teaser I might I might not even want to see a full fledged trailer. It depends on what they put into the teaser because we don't I don't know what they're going to put. You don't know what they're going to put. They could put a variety of different things that put a lot of us at peace with saying, OK, yeah, we don't want to see anymore. We're excited. But this this is enough. But we know how that goes. So let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below. What do you guys think about these images? Are you excited about this? Can you not wait to see these new interviews? When do you think they'll come out? What do you think will be happening later this month? Do you think something will happen regarding a trailer? Do you think we'll get a first look at the film? Do you think we'll get some more information about the plot direction of this film? Uh, I'm also looking forward to seeing these cast cast member interviews because of course there's got to be interviews with the new cast members melissa barrera jenna ortega uh of course get to see the ogs nev campbell david all of their interviews too but i'm mostly more interested in seeing the the uh the new young stars participation the new supporting cast but let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below if you haven't already make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video